The healthcare system is close to breaking point. The strain has been felt across hospitals, GPs, laboratories and community healthcare services. The country's major acute hospitals have been told they can now cancel surgeries and other procedures if COVID treatment is deemed a priority. This is certainly the highest level of impact and risk that we've had to manage uh, since COVID landed here. The situation in our hospitals and our healthcare system overall is generally very serious. Uh, the current wave is putting an inconceivable strain on the health system. Some of the country's major hospitals have been asked to identify surge capacity beds and to redeploy staff. COVID hospital admissions are up 40% over the past two weeks and unvaccinated COVID patients are occupying almost 20% of the total ICU bed capacity in hospitals today. ICU doctors say the outlook is grim. The ICUs are full. In fact, they're over 100% capacity in many of the intensive care units around the country and um, we're having to redeploy and uh, nursing staff from other areas of the hospital to help out. Up to 200,000 lab tests are now being processed every week. The number of swabbing sites will soon be increased and their opening hours extended. The HSE says private testing companies are also helping alleviate the pressure. We have partnered with some private entities and we've opened a new site in Dublin which was under pressure with over a thousand uh, bookings a day now available. That commenced on Monday and it's working very well and we're planning to extend that even further. We'll have additional sites in Limerick and Cork opening next week and we're also working with a number of other agencies who we can help develop some more capacity. The aim is to administer up to 300,000 booster shots every week. The HSE says some vaccination centres are recording no-show rates of between 25 to 50 per cent for booster vaccines. Health officials say anyone offered a booster shot should take it. Dimitri O'Donnell, RTE News.